Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about summary for Hedel Ball 2022 and some tips to prepare any upcoming new content that they will release in future. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, before I break down any new content that they announce on this Hedel Ball 2022, if you haven't claimed all reward from Hedel Ball 2022, you can check my previous video that focus sharing about how to claim all reward from this Hedel Ball 2022 that you can get Jharmer of Loyalty, free outfit, any kind of weapon exchange coupon, secret scroll of pure equilibrium to reroll your character, 4000 cronstone, and any huge reward from this Hedel Ball 2022. 2022 streaming event. Okay, let's start about any content that they announce on this Hedel Ball 2022. First about brand new content that they just announce on this Hedel Ball 2022. First about Abyss One, the Mac News. Actually, this is new technology on Black Desert World. They they just bring this technology from Shadow Arena, and I think Pak Abyss on the right step to bring this new technology to Black Desert World. Since they last time mention about to go to expansion of Portrait Area, there are require new technology that still not have on Black Desert World. And the Magnus technology is teleportation technology that you can travel to another location through special device that shown on this screen. And from this special device, there are special character from Shadow. Arena that called Wuzu, and this Wuzu character actually is playable character on Shadow Arena. But on Black Desert World, they will make this Wuzu character as NPC who operate this Magnus device to help you to transport to another location on Black Desert World. And take notice to enter this Magnus device. Previous just announce unique way. You need to jump to several well that scatter on Black Desert World. And after you arrive, you will go to this Magnus device. And on this Magnus device, you can go to several realm. Maybe. This is like multiverse system on Black Desert World that you can find any character on Black Desert World that mostly all these character come from Shadow Arena and from this Magnus device you need to complete several challenges to get special item that called Shadow Glow Pebble and this Shadow Glow Pebble is special item that you need to use to use this Magnus device to go to another area on Black Desert World and previous or dimension to unlock this Magnus device you need to finish special main quest story that they will implement on Black. Desert Desert World in future, and after you finish special main quest for this the Magnus, rather than you will unlock this Magnus device, you also will unlock special skill for any class on Black Desert World. And they mention this skill like Rabam skill, but I think this skill is brand new skill that you can unlock it for all class after you finish this Magnus quest line. And from this Hedel Ball 2022, they just show us. To kind of this Magnus skill that I show on this video, either for Musa class and Sets class, but for sure this Magnus skill will available for all class on Black Desert World. And on this Hedel Ball 2022, they also mention requirement to start this Magnus quest line. You need to complete Balenos mine quest. And also your character must reach level 15 or higher. So I think from this quest requirement, any new player also can participate to finish this Magnus quest line. And they also mention you didn't need any combat gear to finish this Magnus quest line. And then other than you unlock teleportation feature, Magnus skill for each class. They also mention you will get another one piece pen boss gear that you can get it after finishing this Magnus quest line. But take notice this pen boss gear you cannot put it on central market. So this is for personal use only. And another feature for this Magnus device. You also will unlock feature to move any item from any storage city. For example, if you add Valia City, you also can take any item from any major city like Valencia, Calpeon, Grana, and etc. And they also mention you can use this Magnus device to integrate this Magnus device with your mate. That you can put any item from your character inventory to any major city storage using your mate from anywhere. So you can use this feature to put any item or trash loot to specific any major city on Black Desert World. 
And if you check any region official website, they also announce this Abyss One The Magnus content will coming worldwide after 12 October 2022 maintenance update. So we will get this content near future. And don't worry if you still confused about mechanic for this The Magnus content, for sure I will guide you for more detail about how to finish this Magnus questline and also how to use this Magnus content to make your life on Black Desert World more easy than before. Okay, next new content that they just announced on this Heddle Ball 2020 is third biome for attraction dungeon. They, they mention this Yonunakea, third biome for attraction dungeon, have a rest time, and they also share special video for final boss on this Yonunakea that called Amarillos. And they also leak some information for this Amarillos mechanic that if this boss dies, this boss will revive continuously and will revive in stronger form. But take notice, they also mention this Yolunakea difficulty have same difficulty as Sikrakia, especially for gear requirement. And they also mention about the last biome for Atoraxion Dungeon or Zekea that we will encounter Ilezra herself. And this final boss for Ilezra is the most difficult boss from entire Atoraxion Dungeon boss that will come in future. And they also mention some improvement for this Atoraxion Dungeon for overall, like removing Talibretir as ticket to enter Atoraxion Dungeon. So in future, if you want to enter Atoraxion Dungeon, there are no cost to enter any Atoraxion Dungeon. And also another overall improvement, they will reduce time to clear Atoraxion Dungeon to fight final boss more faster than before for any biome. And then about main quest for Atoraxion Dungeon, they will improve it to become available to finish by solo. So if you want to finish attraction main quest, in future you didn't need full party to finish its main quest. But if you want to get any weekly reward, for sure this attraction dungeon still need full party as co-op dungeon. And they mention this attraction third biome, Yolunakea, or the on final stage of its development and expected will release globally on this November 2022. So just hope they didn't get delay for this third biome on attraction dungeon. And if you new player and want to prepare this attraction dungeon, you can start to prepare it by finishing its prerequisite quest, Invitation from I, that I guide you on this special video. And after that, you can start to finish this attraction dungeon, start from first biome, Falmakea, that I guide you on this special video for this first biome of attraction dungeon. And another guide to get 130 fall stack by completing attraction knowledge from its biome. And this is special guide to get knowledge from Atoraxion Dungeon Falmakea to get 130 fall stack. And this 130 fall stack also will available for its biome on Atoraxion Dungeon like Sikrakea and for sure for upcoming biome at Yolunakea and Orsekea in future. And for more detail about any Atoraxion Dungeon content, you can check my special playlist for this Atoraxion Guide. And the last fresh new content that they just announced on this Heddle Ball 2022 is new region Land of the Morning Light. And actually this name already changed continuously that previously they called this area is Land of the Dawn. And they changed it to become Land of Morning Calm. And right now they call it Land of Morning Light. And I think this is the final name that they will use for this new region. And this Land of Morning Light region is expansion for Portrait Area, part of Kingdom of Hasso. That they mentioned this new region inspired from Korean folklore, architecture, vegetation, and mythology. And if you watch their video teaser for this new region, they mention at the end of this video, this is mentioned about new main story for this land of morning like region that inspire from Korean mythology and story. And they mention this upcoming new region still on development stage, and they still cannot mention release date for this new region, but they set goal for this new region development will finish and announce at this winter 2022, but they mention this is is not guarantee and they also set schedule for this new region will release before quarter 1 2023 and just hope they didn't have any difficulty to develop this new region so they can finish their work and release it early at 2023. Okay that's all three big upcoming content that they announced on this Heddle Ball 2022 and sadly they didn't mention any new class that they will release in future either for Wukong class but when they mention about Land of Morning Light region that they mention this new region will inspire from Korean folklore, mythology, architecture, and any story. We still have hope for this new Wukong class that have similar region mythology from this land of morning light region. So just stay tuned for future update that they will announce in future for new class. 
And next, about any new content that we already have and they will improve it in future. If you watch my previous video about Hedelbol 2022 content and rewards prediction for PC and console version, in this video, I recap any content that Preabis previously announced on previous Hedelbol and Calpion Ball. And first, about access LVR monster on all server, they will implement this mechanic so you can enter any LVR from any normal server. And this mechanic called Parallel LVR that you can use this feature to enter LVR room from any server channel on Black Desert World. But take notice, this is still open world, so this is not personal monster zone like Marnie Realm. And you still can meet any other player when you enter this parallel LVR realm. And this mechanic to enter parallel LVR realm, they mention development process for this feature or the finish, and they plan to release this parallel LVR realm mechanic at 5 October 2022, maybe on Korea server first. And next week maintenance update outside Korea server. And next, they also mention about improving any monster zone like Silver Gain from Calpeon Elvia Realm. They mention will increase any drop rate for any item on Calpeon Elvia Realm like Scorching Sun Shard and any other item from any Calpeon Elvia monster zone. And also for any other monster zone like Padix Island and My Forest, Polyforest, they also mention will update this monster zone to become more interesting than before. And next, still about Elvia Realm improvement, especially for final content to get access cup that I got you on this special video for this accessory cup and in future they will improve this cup for accessory by adding new way to extract this cup so you will get whole material from this cup when you extract it from any your previous accessory so if you plan to extract your cup from any accessory that you have better you didn't do it right now because they will add new method to extract this cup accessory to get whole material that you can use it again on another accessory and for more detail how to get this cup accessory, you can check this video for more detail. And next, about class balancing. In future, mechanic for class balancing, they will make class balancing more faster than before by adding little class balancing for each week for specific class. And they mention this new mechanic for class balancing that will occur every week will start announced on next week global lab update. And next, about upcoming update for skill point system. In future, they mention to learn all skill for any character, you just need 1000 skill point. Add to learn any skill from succession or awakening stance and this new skill point system they will announce it later on next week global lab update and because of this new mechanic from skill point system they will reset any skill point from any character on black desert world when this update live on our live server in future and they also mention any leftover skill point that you have they will add new passive skill that you can level up this passive skill unlimitedly to increase your character weight limit from this leftover skill point Point. So I think this is huge chance and free to play friendly to get additional weight limit for each of your character from leftover skill point. And for more detail about this skill point chance, just wait my next global lab update that I will release every Friday. And next about guild content, in future they will reduce duration for new member from 2 weeks to become 1 week only. And any new member guild also will be able to use any guild vendor and install any trap during not war and six war. And then about mechanic for not war, they will bring back old mechanic for not war with new improvement and they mention new rules for not war will be removed and the reason they will bring back old not war system because they mention new not war system have far from their vision for future update and they will make some improvement from old system not war that they mention any guild cannot snipe any not war reward anymore by applying new mechanic improvement for old not war system and they mention orientation for this not war will focus for big guild only rather than small guild and then they also mention about improvement for guild content like guild boss can in future if you summon guild boss can they will make this guild boss can mechanic like you encounter any dark grief boss so if your guild summon guild boss can any guild member on your guild will be disappear from open world and will not visible from any other player that not your guild member so by this mechanic this is will avoid any griefing player to grief your guild during summoning guild boss can and this update for new mechanic for summoning guild boss can they mention will implement on october or november 2022 and next about world boss and field boss they mention improvement for garmot world boss but they didn't mention more detail about what improvement that they will make on this garmot world boss 
or maybe they prepare stronger version for this Garmoth World Boss, like Nightmare Kasarka, Strominger Karanda, Bloodstorm Nover, or Thundercloud Kutum, but for Garmoth version, but I'm still not sure about this World Boss improvement that they mentioned on this Heddle Ball 2022. And next about Field Boss improvement, in future once again they will increase reward from Field Boss to become more interesting than before, but once again they didn't mention more detail how to make it more interesting than before, and I think all these changes they will announce it first time on Global Lab Server in future. Okay, next improvement for life skill content. First about level house and workshop that you can rent it from any city. In future, they will add feature to level up your workshop or any other house rented to become more faster than before that you didn't need to level up one by one. You can level up this rented house either for workshop or storage instantly. And next about alchemy stone growth. In future, they will add skip animation button when you do growthing for alchemy stone. Stone, so you can get more faster for your result from your alchemy stone growth process. And next improvement for Agris Favor. In future, you can use Agris Favor point for life skill content to get more yield from any life skill content like Gathering. So for any life skiller, you can get more silver by consuming Agris Favor during Gathering. And to upgrade your Agris Favor, you can follow my guide to finish Book of Margahen Volume 1 and Volume 2 that I got you on this special video. You can check it for more detail to improve your Agris Favor point. And next about Travel Mushroom. In future, they will increase travel mushroom spot on black desert world so you can gather this travel mushroom more easy and faster than before and next about upcoming feature for crystal preset they mention about crystal preset in future that you can set your crystal either for pve or pvp so you didn't need to extract your crystal continuously or prepare multiple gear with different crystal and they mention on this heddle ball 2022 they prepare this mechanic so you will automatically use any benefit from your pve or or PvE crystal instantly without need to change your gear or your crystal. And next, they mention about upcoming endgame gear like Fallen God Armor or Labreska Helmet. In future, they will release glove version for this endgame gear that this endgame glove will release at the same time with new region, Land of Morning Light. So from this information, you can prepare your Penback Glove or Labor Glove with level 10 Capras level. And for sure to get another material to craft this endgame glove, you need to grinding it on new upcoming region at land of morning light monster zone that will release in future and thanks about upcoming costume that they will release at least we got some update for confirmation when this military outfit will release that this outfit have name salanar uniform outfit but this outfit only available for five class either for sai sorceress Witch Wizard and Sets class and the Salanar Uniform Outfit will available on next week maintenance update at 28 September 2022 worldwide. So just prepare your pearl if you want to purchase it because all this outfit for this 5 class will available until it's awakening outfit and if you lucky you also can purchase it from central market using silver. And next they also show us upcoming new outfit that they will release especially for Halloween outfit that will release next month. As you can see this is all class outfit for Halloween event, either for Sai, female, and male character. That you can use head cap feature to get another look from this outfit. And then as always, they also will release swap costume outfit that you can wear another class outfit using your current class. And for any swap outfit costume for any class, you can check on this video for more detail. And from this Heddle Ball 2022, they also mention new swap outfit for some class like Coronas outfit for Hassassin that previously this is Seth's outfit that become wearable for Hassassin. And then this is Drakania class that wearing Dark Knight outfit, Bone Rose outfit. And you can get this swapable costume from special outfit set that they will release mostly on Halloween and April full event. And to get this outfit, you only can purchase it using pearl so prepare your pearl if you interest to purchase this outfit and next if you watch my previous video about heddle ball 2022 about content and rewards prediction that i mentioned about any unfulfilled content that they haven't released until now on this heddle ball 2022 they confirm to cancel some content that they already mentioned on previous heddle ball or calpion ball like 10 versus 10 battle and they mentioned reason for this cancellation they will focus to improve arena of solari instead added new feature for this pvp content and also another content that they cancel is Terror of the Abyss or Terror of the Deep Sea that they mention this is PvE endless content that have underwater sea theme and reason for canceling this content they already test it internally and they find this content too difficult and become very boring.
boring at the end. And they mentioned instead of releasing this Terror of the Abyss content, they will use their resource and time to improving any existing monster zone in future. And then another content that they cancel is snowboarding. That they mentioned this snowboarding will become boring and to specific content that only apply on Mountain of Eternal Winter content. Okay, that's all three content that they already confirmed to cancel for future improvement. And another all content that they mentioned still under development is Black Star Raid, but this Black Star Raid development still on hold process because they focus to improving any unpopular world boss like Nofer and Kutum. And then about trading life skill improvement, this content also still on progress, but they still on delay for this trading content because they still working for improving this trading concept in future. Okay, that's all recap information for this Heddle Ball 2022. And once again, make sure you claim all reward from this Heddle Ball 2022 that they give to us after this streaming event. And make sure you watch this video to make sure you didn't miss any rewards that they give us after this event. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Kesuban, Killsteel, Remy, Token R42, Demonite, Bebu, as gold member, and also all my silver and bronze member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video, depend on your support level. And be noticed for some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space and I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support and if you want to join my membership to support me directly you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karekarsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description or you can check on top right of this video. I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys that's all any upcoming new content that they will release that already announced on this Heddle Ball 2022 Hope all this information can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.